After living with her husband for 40 years, the FBI tell his wife the truth. Without any warning, they busted through the door. She approached them out of concern, believing that everything was just a big mistake, but it wasn't. They marched right by her and towards her spouse. He was cornered in the bedroom. She tried to get to him but couldn't because she was too afraid. But what did he do? Cheryl and Bobby Love had been happily wed for 40 years. Cheryl, however, had overlooked a detail regarding her spouse. His coy demeanor concealed a sinister secret, and his adoring wife was about to learn who the guy she had been living with was in reality. The pair first met at the Baptist Medical Center in Brooklyn, New York. Cheryl was innocent, said Bobby. And that's why I found her so alluring. I never wanted to date someone who shared my vices, drinking, smoking, and having a past. Cheryl was delicate, almost naive, in a way. The couple got itched and had four kids. Bobby was a devoted spouse who always had two or three jobs, took care of the housework, and spent time with the kids. Bobby had grown up poor. But, he ended up joining a terrible crowd since his mother had her hands full raising eight kids. He did not, however, reveal his origins to his wife. Cheryl adored her husband, but she was aware that there was something he was keeping from her even before the truth was revealed. In fact, she started hunting for information right before learning the truth. I had a great marriage, and he adored me. He didn't, however, enjoy being in pictures. He always believed that people were looking at him. There wasn't a lot of affection, and there was little communication. He would simply sit there scowling as I would pour myself out to him. I clearly recall being on my knees in the church around Christmas time, and I prayed to God to change the heart of my husband. Then, a short while later, their relationship would completely change forever. Cheryl felt the police had made a mistake when she initially saw them show up at her door. The cops were frequently called to deal with the crazy lady who lived a few doors down. They powered past her and surrounded Bobby in the bedroom. She started to panic because she was unable to comprehend what was happening. Are they the FBI? Why had they taken her spouse into custody? She made every effort to reassure her husband, who was utterly afraid of what was taking place. The officers would not let her by them as she attempted to get to him. They eventually handcuffed Bobby. The policeman said, get back, get back. You don't know who this man is, Cheryl recalled with tears in her eyes. But the officers were right, she didn't. And the information she was about to learn would stab her in the heart. My world came crashing down, Cheryl said. Bobby's arrest was widely reported in the media. It appeared as though the entire city was making fun of me. At church, people would approach me and hushedly ask, You knew about this, right? You had to be aware. But I never knew. Four grown children and a 40-year marriage later, and I still didn't know. He had no history of committing offenses at all. Bobby, what's happening? I yelled. Did you take someone's life? This has a long history. Cheryl. Before I ever met you. Way back in North Carolina, Bobby admitted as the police escorted him out of the room. They had obviously been looking for Bobby for years. A police officer commented, you've had a long run, seeming almost amazed by the length of time he had managed to avoid them. Bobby's secret was eventually revealed after 40 years. Bobby Love whose real name is actually Walter Miller, has been on the run from the law ever since he escaped from a prison van in North Carolina in 1977. The prisoner had waited at the back of the bus until it came to a stop next to a woodland before attempting to flee. He eventually established a new identity and began a new life in New York. Although Cheryl couldn't believe what she was hearing, it wasn't the fact that her husband was on the run that shocked her the most. His actions were the ones that truly turned her world upside down. For 40 years, Bobby had been Cheryl's rock. She shared a bed with this man, had children with him, 
and trusted him more than any other human being in the entire universe. How could she have been unaware of what he was capable of? She had become accustomed to his silence, but she had no idea that there was something considerably more evil at work than just a worn out or uninteresting man. Bobby was now serving a ten year prison term for robbing a bank. After being involved with a bad crowd as a young man, he had been lured to commit increasingly serious offenses over time. Before being shot by police and receiving a sentence, he was living the high life. Then he bolted, running directly into Cheryl's arms. Cheryl was first devastated, Bobby had deceived me for all those years. Every day, I would walk right past this man. We were laughing. We're joking. And he won't tell me anything? I was furious. Bobby was sent back to North Carolina to serve time in jail. Cheryl recalled how hard it was to see her spouse in that state. When I first visited him in prison, he burst into tears, she recalled. Bobby told her that he knew she leave him now that she knew about his background. He was, however, mistaken. Cheryl stayed and even started campaigns on Bobby's behalf. Bobby served less than a year as a result of her efforts. He then legally changed his name after his release, and they reunited, leaving the past behind.